Welcome back to Harry from that channel. My name is Harry. It's been a year ago since I did the first Facebook Messenger chatbot tutorial on my YouTube channel. To be honest, I did that tutorial to teach myself how to get started with a chatbot using the Facebook Messenger platform. Then it kind of surprised me that a lot of people want to know how I can build a Facebook Messenger chatbot from scratch and it's totally free. You guys start comment below my YouTube video and sending messages to my Facebook page. One of the most common questions I had was how to build a Messenger chatbot. It must be free and it can collect user data like email and phone number. Then saving all that data to somewhere also free and in this case, it's the Google Sheets. So I made that chatbot. It took me four hours for the coding part, and this video will show you how the chatbot works. But before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications of my video uploads. Now, let's take a look at the chatbot I built to collect user information. But before we start, the first thing you must know is there no chatbot on Facebook. The chatbot concept we use here to indicate a Facebook page, we can automatically send replying messages to Facebook user. So we call the Facebook page is a chatbot. Next, let's open your Facebook account, then searching for this Facebook page personal data Google Sheet. I wrote a short description about this page so you will know if it is the page I created or not. If you see the description talking about a chatbot to collect user information and the author is me, you are landing in the right place. If you notice at the top right of this page, we have a big blue button send message. Let's hit this button to start sending messages. The first time you start a conversation with this Facebook page, you will see a Get Started button. This button only shows one and will disappear the next time you send messages to this page. I will open this conversation in the Messenger app, so I select this error, then choose Open in Messenger. You can see we have this conversation open in the Messenger app, but with more space to display the content message. Let's hit the Get Started button. Instantly, we receive a response message, a beautiful template message with an image and two buttons. We have a welcome message and two buttons that lets us know what to do next. We also have a menu here we can call a persistent menu. You can get access to all these features in the menu at any time during the conversation with this Facebook page. Right here, I click on the Start Survey button. An awesome pop-up appears. This is a Facebook web view, and all the content in this pop-up is rendered by our server side. In this case, it's my Node.js server. Facebook does nothing but display this pop-up to Facebook's user. In this form, we can ask people about their name, where they are from, their email, or even their phone number. Ask anything you want in this form. Leave a message at the end. And finally, hit the Submit button. The survey form will be closed, and you will see a message telling your data has been recorded. So how do we know the data has been saved somewhere? like watches online. Let's click on the View Data button. A new tab opens, and you will see all the data you fill in the survey form before will be saved in this Google Sheet file. For me, it's a row 4 with the June names Eric. If I click on the Try Again button, we will see the survey form again. We can do this form as many times as you want. If I click on the Persistent menu, then choose the Restart Conversation option. The chatbot will send us the first message, the welcome message, like when we hit the Get Started button. If you wonder how I made this chatbot, choose the Source Code Chatbot option. This option will open my GitHub page. 
all my chatbots I did so far will be shared publicly on my GitHub. The last option will guide you back to my YouTube channel where you can find more useful videos about making an awesome chatbot with the Facebook Messenger platform. One question you may ask is why I didn't make a chatbot we can ask people questions, then people send their answer. For example, we want to know about the name, the email, and the phone number, so we need to ask three questions. Instead of doing a pop-up containing all three questions, the answer is I want to make a chatbot as simple as possible. A simple chatbot but doing cool stuff like Facebook web view, but also get the target we want, user personal data. The second question is why we need to ask people about the name, phone number, and the email. Are there any secret Facebook APIs to get all this stuff? The answer is we must ask people about their personal information. There is no way for us, a developer or a businessman, to know Facebook user information. Facebook always protects their user information, so if you want to know, just ask them directly. So that's it, all about the chatbot I made to collect Facebook user information. To be honest, like I said before, it took me 4 hours to make this chatbot, but it's more than that for me to edit all the videos in this video to do everything from scratch then teach you how to do this awesome chatbot. But anyway, I'll try my best to shoot up the rest of the videos in this tutorial as soon as possible. Let me know what you think about this tutorial by comment below this video. Have a good day and see you guys in the next video.